So I ordered these things on, I think, Sunday night, pretty late. Today's Tuesday. They were delivered at 4:19 or 11:19 uh, today. That's really good shipping. I'll give it to him. That was worth 11 bucks. Took me about 40 seconds of side to put them on. Really easy, just a locking clip here, and then they slide in. And and they're much nicer than the old ones. They're actually black instead of gray. The old ones had faded and. Once I got them off and looked at them, they weren't in very good shape. So there's one less thing that I have to do. Uh, it's about 11, 12, 15. I have to be back at the camp at 12.30. So I'm going to throw some pounds on that tire with that compressor and uh, then head back shortly. And it's been a pretty good day so far. It's like 52 and partly cloudy outside. And no complaints. Yeah, I, wish, I don't know if I'd say the name of the estate right now. Hi Ryan! So boys, don't know if you can see this, but okay. that does say for rednecks by rednecks, cause we can. Uh, bird, bird, uh. <laughs> Actually it's a dodge round. Whatever, same thing. This guy's got a bumper sticker back here that says I'm the stick on a Mitsubishi Lancer that I need to shift gears to keep up with. Are you recording that? Okay, at T Jasco, um, we're gonna chug some Coke here or Pepsi <laughs> here. Go ahead, camera's on you, bud. I always do this in the same room. I know it's always right here. <laughs> Hit the light over there. This time it's a little bit more soda. All right. Holy shit! That's remarkable. All right, wait for it. <gasps> glass number two. After I'm just about to kill myself. Yeah, this is the second <laughs> glass of Pepsi. Yeah, you slowed down a little bit on that one. But that's all right. You've had like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you coming? All right, so friggin', uh, this is a familiar sight. Yeah, of this is where. It's a uh, down <laughs> there. Bless you. See the focus? So, Remember when he pulled up over here? This was a, vo a blog that I had called. Pop Splash, right? That, you should put a link to that yeah, in the description. I, I don't really care, but you no. can go find it. Go Google JRS Vlog Pop Splash and you'll see it. It's a great title. So Taylor's going to wing... What do you have now? Orange juice. You've got an orange juice bottle full of, of high-octane fuel. Not water. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pitch off the high point of my roof here. Taylor, uh, try not to hit the roof one, two, into Maybe the driveway. Jack, you might yeah, want to move. Yeah, of course. I, I, better, I, I, tr I better trust you guys. <laughs> Taylor, He's got smoking. Ebola. <laughs> He's been smoking. <laughs> Big time. Okay, all right, Taylor. Let's give it hell. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is the <laughs> it's not my car. <laughs> yeah, that, that. All right, there's the first one. Uh, it bounced. How about Taylor? Let's pick the landing where we can see. Where we can yeah. the vlog yeah. can see. All right. So pitch it up and out, and please don't fall off the roof. I do not want to clean. Yeah, this. I know. <laughs> Shaky the camera guy. Right? Yeah. Taylor! <laughs> oh, that's Dicker. How did he throw it out? He should have thrown it out. He got thrown in a perfect 45 left. Alright, go get him. Let's right, go. We're gonna go down and film the damage now. We'll be right back. Oh no! Are you look, at the, look at the cap. Are you going? <laughs> it's all that's look left. Look at that. Cap. We've oh, got one inside. We'll show you here. what it used to look like. Oh, it just shredded. It disintegrated. Oh, look, there's some <coughs> orange stuff over there. Here's the blue cap. This is what usually happens with those. We get something that looks like that. But not complete destruction. Nice work, Taylor. Yeah. We it couldn't left. see it as well. You should have thrown it out farther. Yeah. Farther Although, that I think the effects here just go, go right Taylor, forward. Taylor, Taylor, really? assess the damage. <coughs> <coughs> Good catch. Are you going to clean this up? <coughs> it's water. Well, I mean, do you it's not how high for? octane fuel. Watch out, guys. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh. oh. Your mom will be suspecting Thank you. random water. I don't think it'll be a big deal. Hey, Taylor, you want to fill that up and then wing it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that's a no. Taylor, give it hell. That wasn't even good. This is high enough. Come on, Taylor. 
He's losing his edge. <laughs> Alright, Jack, give it a whirl. Alright, let's try. Don't want to hit Ryan, okay? Okay, focus. Yeah, I know. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, man. Just... That is good plastic. Yeah, that is strong. <laughs> High quality plastic. It's great plastic. Uh, hello there. Um, I don't know what was going on. We had we had fun, I guess, We're just messing around, Jack and Kenan and Taylor. Uh, Kenan's on his way down to Florida with the orchestra for a couple days. I think he's back Sunday night or something like that. Uh, so I wanted to hang out with him before he went out. But we had dinner at Steak and Puke again, and I don't remember if I filmed anything there. Um, yeah, but today was Tuesday. It was actually a pretty good day. And um, I don't really have anything else to say, so I'm going to go edit the vlog, see if I left anything untied, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Alright, it's just about 12 o'clock, I just got the editing done, and it's so nice having this room clean and stuff now so I can come out here and sit at night and do my stuff here instead of being in my office and, and my desk. It's like uh, 68 degrees out here, the sun warmed it up all day, so it's plenty comfortable. And I mentioned yesterday I was going to show you the book that the previous owner of the car dropped off for me. Um, I actually sent him an email last night detailing all the stuff I've done and talked about the Wrangler he has for sale. If anybody lives around here and wants a Wrangler, it's a 2011 Jeep Wrangler V8 loaded. It's got a six-speed manual, uh, leather interior, carbon fiber stuff. It is a very nice car and he's competitively offering it at 28000 just because he's moving and he wants to get rid of it here. He doesn't want to have it there. But he's going to take his 2010 M5 and the Z8 and all the other cars along with him. Anyhow, um, this is the book from 2000, and for 2000, I think the graphics are really good. BMW did a great job at putting this together. They've got an Amola Red M5 on the front. You can see some of the differences. Uh, the 2000, they have the old headlights, which when they were new and not fogged up, they'd look decent. But obviously mine and the new ones, uh, the halos look nicer. So it just says unmatched, and it's got a nice M5 badge up there. And if you get up close to this, which the flip will never do... Uh, but the DPI and stuff in this is is really nice. And you know, looking at the Hyundai, we got a bunch of books on that. Yeah, they've gotten better photography styles, and they can do stuff digitally instead of actually taking photos and putting them in here of the car driving, where you can see imperfections in the paint and stuff like that, uh, dirt or whatever. Uh, but this is still very good. It says an, an unheard of achievement, a car where extreme performance and total comfort not only coexist, they amaze each other. Well, that's pretty cool. So there's the Amola Red M5, tinted windows, chrome wheels. Looks pretty nice. Looks like he's taking a corner there. There's the M colors like I have on my Facebook thing. And then they've got a picture of the engine, attack, and there's my color, Silverstone Metallic, not to mention all other sports sedans. It says displaces 5 liters. There's another picture. You can see they've got the more chrome finish, which it looks a little flashy to me, but I'm, I'm used to the other ones. This one's got the park distance control. Very nice. Nicely kept exhaust, cool uh, effect there, a lot of Photoshop probably, 394 horsepower Wolf. There's a lot of controversy about that. In Europe, they marketed it at about 400 horsepower. Well, here, there was an emissions law about 395 horsepower. You had to pay more taxes or something. Their standards changed if you had 395 horsepower or above. So there's a lot of speculation that BMW just said the USA one was 394 to get around some of that. Uh, yep, massive 18-inch wheels and a sophisticated M-calibrated back-shattering suspension. Turned into power precision. There's another uh, Silverstone metallic one. Bunch of pictures of the front. Love that blue. Looks really nice. At rest, the look is timeless, where they're kind of right once they got the halos in there. In motion, time simply evaporates. Let me tell you, that's true. Then they kind of advertise this, the uh, luxury trim here over the sport trim, which is what I have. But this has got the wood... In there, it's in Celsius, obviously a European model with kilometers on the clock there. One comfort lever, level, absolute, says two interior trim, ex exclusive and sport. The sport one was a couple thousand more, and I'm glad I have that. First head protection system, which is the airbags up there in the A and B pillars, more pictures. Not to mention the astonishing handling, cornering, braking, and acceleration that are so vital in avoiding trouble in the first place, talking about the safety of the car. Then they've got a pretty nice diagram here that shows, like, there's the rear struts and the engine and the coolant system and exhaust and and that's kind of cool to see and then they go over all the different stuff that it's got in there. M colors continue. And then they talk about some of the history. The M1 in 1978, 473 of those made. The M5, the M5, the M5. First V8 BMW M car ever. And then they advertise the M5 driving experience with, that's the only M5 on the page, that's an E46 
330 or 328 or something. Uh, and then there's all the different colors that they had up, had available. Alpine white, and there's the Oxford green and the different interior trim. Tons of specifications here. If anybody actually cares, I can get a photo of this somewhere online. Different tire suspension. Looks like it's McPherson struts, coil springs, anti-roll in the front, and central link coil springs, anti-roll in the rear. Acceleration to 60, uh, 4.8 seconds. Top speed limited to 155, unlimited 193. Torque different RPMs, gear ratios and stuff, and uh, all the options, which I'm pleased that I actually have everything on here, like I said yesterday, except the deletion of a couple things. Like, I got the ski bag in the back. I, I Actually, there's one thing I don't have, the, the uh, power sunshade, which I don't think I'd ever use, and I don't really care about that, so that's fine with me. But it was interesting to see that, and I'm sorry this clip's so long and winded, but... Um, I had never seen it before, and it was just kind of cool to see what options were available and the detailed specifications right from BMW. All right, so that's going to be it for today on Tuesday. Tuesday flew by, Monday flew by. This week's already almost halfway over. Tomorrow's looking to be a pretty easy day. Um, should be nice tomorrow, like 60 and sunny, I'm hoping. At least that's what they say. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning on Wednesday, what I believe will be day 500. Good night.